Greetings everyone. So I've been away for a little while. Uh, we had Easter, then my sister got married, and I haven't put up a video for a few weeks, but it seems as though we have breaking news from the Vatican, so I wanted to make a video about this. Is the Vatican going to permit assisted suicide? Is the Vatican going to permit euthanasia? There hasn't been anything changed in the church catechism, but there have been suggestions made by an archbishop from the Pontifical Academy for Life. So let's have a little look at this article. Breaking Pontifical Academy for Life president calls medically assisted suicide feasible. Archbishop Vincenzo Paglia, president of the Pontifical Academy for Life, has spoken in support of legalized medically assisted suicide, calling it feasible, despite the clear teachings of the Catholic Church against it. Personally, I would not practice suicide assistance, but I understand that legal Mediation may be the greatest common good concretely possible under the conditions we find ourselves in. Paglia said in a speech on April 19th during the International Journalism Festival in Perugia, Italy. The Italian Archbishop's remarks were part of a presentation that included a documentary about an Italian man who went to Switzerland to die by assisted suicide. And you can find a video of that in the article, it's linked in the article. The Italian news outlet Tu Riformista published the text of Paglia's speech on Saturday. According to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, intentional euthanasia, whatever its forms or motives, is murder and gravely contrary to the dignity of the human person and the respect due to the living God, his creator. More recently, in 2022, the Vatican's Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith affirmed that teaching in its letter Samaritanus Bonus on the care of persons in the critical and terminal phases of life, which was approved by Pope Francis. The uninfringible value of life is a fundamental principle of the natural moral law and an essential foundation of the legal order. The letter states we cannot directly choose to take the life of another even if they request it. Earlier this year, during his audience on February 9th, so that's just two and a half months ago, Pope Francis said the dying need palliative care, not euthanasia or assisted suicide saying, we must accompany people towards death, but not provoke death or facilitate assisted suicide. So even the Pope here made it very clear, just recently, this year, 2023, that this is unacceptable for those who plan to jump on Pope Francis on this. In his remarks on April 19th, Archbishop Paglia emphasized that the church is not a dispenser of truth pills when it comes to engaging with a pluralistic society on the most challenging moral issues of the day. Isn't that what the church is? That's exactly what the church is, isn't it? <laughs> it is a dispenser of truth pills in this very confused time. And it's interesting how he uses the phrase pluralistic society, challenging moral issues. They're not challenging for the church. The church is there to go, no, this is what you do. And this is what you don't do. Theological thought evolves in history in dialogue with the magisterium and the experience of the people of God in a dynamic of mutual enrichment. Mm. Not keen on that kind of language. It's already a suggestion that you know things change, times change, church teachings can change, dogma can change. Paglia pointed to Pope Francis's decision in 2018 to revise the Catechism of the Catholic Church to state that the death penalty is inadmissible. Yes, so that's something he can do, can't he? Because Pope Francis did change the teaching on the death penalty. John Paul II already changed it a little bit, but he didn't say it was inadmissible, but Pope Francis did change it all the way. The contribution of Christians is made within the different cultures, neither above as if they possessed an a priori given truth, nor below, as if believers were the bearers of a respect respectable opinion, but disengaged from history, Paglia continued. Between believers and non-believers, there is a relationship of mutual learning, Paglia said. As believers, therefore, we ask the same questions that concern everyone, in the knowledge that, that, that we are in a pluralistic democratic society. In this case, about the end of earthly life, we find ourselves all facing a common question. How can we reach the best way to articulate the good and the just for each person and for society? Paglia criticized the expansion of laws in some countries to permit involuntary euthanasia. 
At the same time, he said it was not to be ruled out that legalized assisted suicide is feasible in our society, provided certain conditions spelled out by a 2019 Italian constitutional court ruling are met. Specifically, he said, quoting the court's direction, the person must be kept alive by life support treatment and suffering from an irreversible pathology, a source of physical or psychological suffering that he or she considers intolerable, but fully capable of making free and conscious decisions. The Italian House of Representatives has already approved such legislation, but not the Senate, he noted. Okay, so this, if this is what he means by assisted suicide... I don't know if that would be considered assisted suicide or euthanasia. Because if a person is being kept alive only by hospital equipment and machines, and if you unplug those, they're dead, then this person really isn't uh, alive anymore, so to speak, on their own. They're just being synthetically kept alive. And even John Paul II said he did not want that for himself. He didn't want to be synthetically kept alive. So I don't know if that would be considered euthanasia. I look forward to your views on that in the comments section. This is not the first time Paglia's remarks on assisted suicide have stirred controversy. In 2019, answering a question about assisted suicide and whether a Catholic or a Catholic priest can be present at someone's death by assisted suicide, Paglia told a small group of journalists that he would be willing to do so because the Lord never abandons anyone. Again, debatable subject. I look forward to your comments on that. The priest might not be there to encourage this, but if someone has already taken that decision that they want to be killed and the hospital has agreed to it, and maybe someone from that family wants a priest to be there just to still be with this person as this is happening so that they don't feel alone so that they feel like there's someone from the faith with them a priest maybe that priest you know if he said no no absolutely not because this is a disgrace i'm not going to be anywhere near this person maybe that wouldn't be the best thing to do or maybe it would i don't know let me know what you think about that in this sense to accompany to hold the hand of someone who is dying is i think a great duty every believer should promote he said at the time, adding that believers should also provide a contrast to the culture of assisted suicide. More recently, in August 2022, Paglia was sharply criticised by abortion opponents for referring in an Italian television interview to Law 194, the 1978 law legalising abortion in Italy, as a pillar of society. In a subsequent statement, the Pontifical Academy of Life said the comment was taken out of context. The Pontifical Academy of Life is dodgy anyway because I think it was towards the end of 2022 they did hire a pro-abortion atheist to the panel. So if they're doing that, it's almost unsurprising that things like this and then maybe other things that are also against church teaching are going to arise. What do you think about this? Is this the slow pushing of the goalposts until eventually they say, yeah, it's okay. If a person's suffering, they should be able to kill themselves. Or is this specifically comments from the Archbishop on a very particular situations, which one person might not even call assisted suicide? As I said before, if someone is being kept alive only by hospital equipment, and if you turn that off, they're basically dead. Is turning that equipment off euthanasia? Let me know what you think of this of this whole issue of this Archbishop here, Archbishop Vincenzo Paglia. And uh, yeah, breaking news there, as Catholic News Agency has stated. I look forward to reading your comments. Thanks very much for watching the video.